Can Floyd punch Ishe? Yeah, he can punch. Why, why do you think people don't give him no credit for his punching power? Uh, I don't think, sometimes I think his hands give him a little bit more problems than he tells you guys, and I think he doesn't look. He can punch. I've seen him this camp. I've seen him knock like three sparring partners out cold. I've seen him knock one guy out. See, stop one. I seen him jump in the ring and stop one guy. I seen another guy get knocked out cold, where he would have been out. You could have counted to 500. And he was out. It's just it's so precise and so quick. He hit you with stuff you don't see. But I just think sometimes his hands maybe bother him more than he he leads on people to believe. You as a fighter, not in the shoes, but if you were in the shoes, would you want to come back and just do one more? Just most the history? definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, I would. But again, I, he seems content with walking away. Triple G Lemieux, if I had a million dollars, who should I put my money in? I'm going to tell you what they sold you. Okay. I just took a shit, alright? I just took a shit, mixed it up, and put it in plastic. I baked, I just made a cake. I put that plastic in the middle of the cake. You cut it open and you say, this cake looks fantastic. You cut it open and you say, man, this cake tastes like shit. I'm be like, because it is shit. They're selling you a shit cake with a guy who I feel is not even close to being on that level, who's actually been beaten several times and been stopped, I think. And they're, they're selling you that this is going to be some war, some breakout fight. Triple G is a good fighter. I'm, it's not a knock on him, but don't sell me the meal. Guy, I don't believe he'll go six rounds. I don't believe he'll go six to eight rounds and be stopped. What do you think Triple G has to do for, to finally get to that other level? We know he's an elite fighter. He's a good fighter. No more questions about him. Um, I don't know. I don't think everybody's scared of him like, uh, like people put it out. Like, oh, everybody's scared of him. I don't think so. Uh, I think there's fighters out there willing to fight him. I just don't know why he's willing to fight Ford at Floyd at 54, but Ward at 68 is too big. Like, I don't get that. What, which way is it? I mean, you want to challenge guys at 54, but you don't want to challenge guys at 68. But everybody's scared of you. Even I went up a weight class and fought two fighters. I, I fought the current, the, I think WBA, Danny Jacobs, I fought him the current, and gave him all he can handle. I fought Fernando Guerrero at 68. You mean to tell me you can't jump up eight pounds and fight Andre Ward or some of those guys up there, but you want, you're saying you'll fight Floyd at 54 when Floyd barely walks around 147? That's the only problem I have. It's like, you're a good fighter, but damn, don't, don't sell me that everybody, nobody's scared. Anybody that get in that ring is not scared of you. They're not scared because it takes a, it takes a special man to get in there and get his ass whooped or be able to know I'm about to get punched in the head for, for a check. It takes a special man. Ain't nobody scared of nobody. You might go and fight and know this is going to be a tough ass fight, but ain't nobody scared of nobody because it, it takes a special man to walk your ass up them steps, get in that ring and hear them name, names announced and hear that bell ring. So I don't ever say nobody's scared of nobody.